Good morning to you. Time now is 643. Time for a look at your Titan radar this morning. And well, there's not a lot to look at this morning. It's just plain cold outside. And the reason for it is a cold front that came through yesterday, brought us a little rain day before yesterday. And Laura Boatwright took a picture as what little bit of rain we got left Hartsville. Great looking picture there. Thank you, Laura. If you are watching, Janelle Fuertes in Surfside Beach sent us this picture of yesterday morning's weather. As the cold weather rushed in behind that cold front, look at the steam fog forming out there over the ocean. Dave Murray, our storm tracker in Surfside Beach, took this picture of the same sea fog. And as you notice, uh, look at the steam forming out there over the ocean. And that probably is the scene this morning. What a great looking picture right there. And if you have any weather pictures like this uh, you'd like to send, Send them to PIX at WBTW.com. Upper 20s out the door this morning, currently 28 degrees in Conway, 30 in Myrtle Beach, 32 in North Myrtle. You get more than a couple of miles away from the ocean, though, and we are deep into the 20s this morning. We're probably going to get deeper into the 20s as we head into next week. A chilly day today, but a couple of degrees warmer compared to yesterday. Upper 40s, and probably 50 degrees at noon today, and then low to mid 50s throughout your afternoon. Uh, two, maybe three degrees warmer than yesterday, but that's going to be about it. Your satellite picture is clear this morning. In fact, you have to go quite a ways before you find the next storm system that will affect us. It will not affect us in the way of rain or other kinds of precipitation, but this cold front will dive to the southeast, and that's going to bring in even colder weather to the area for the early to middle part of next week. In fact, here's your current temperature map. We have 20s and 30s across the Plain States back into the Rockies, but if we go up into Canada, we have uh, single digits, uh, Moose Jaw up there in Canada, 8 degrees, 5 degrees in Winnipeg, and 9 degrees International Falls. And as that cold front moves to the southeast, it will drag that very cold air uh, out of Canada right into our neck of the woods on Sunday after a brief relative warm-up during the day on Saturday. Here's your uh, future track forecast. A lot of sunshine today, just on the cool side. The average high today, 61, will be about 53, 54 degrees for the high today. If you're headed out tonight, it will cool off in a hurry. We'll have a lot of frost out there again tomorrow morning. Upper 30s, around 40 degrees at 7 o'clock in the evening. And then low temperatures tonight, around 30 degrees or so inland. And we'll have low to mid-30s along the Grand Strand. Here's your forecast for today. Mostly sunny, still a chilly day, but a couple of degrees warmer than yesterday. High temperature very near 54 degrees. Bundle up tonight, clear and cold. There will be a lot of frost again tomorrow morning. 29 for Lumberton, 32 tonight in Myrtle Beach. The seven-day forecast for the Grand Strand is completely dry, but it is completely cold as well. The high by Monday, only about 48 degrees, with lows in the mid-20s. For the inland areas, you'll get even colder each night with uh, low temperatures in the low to mid-20s by Tuesday and Wednesday, with highs only in the 40s for about four or five days in a row. So uh, get ready. It's going to be very chilly. Well, it is color of the weather time, and our artist of the day is Tanya Rodriguez Uribe from Rex Renner Elementary. Okay, you got a nice blue sky. That's what you always want to see, right? Nice clear skies and flowers. Absolutely. Very nice. Nice looking, probably spring creature, uh, spring picture, and a little <laughs> little varmint there in the background of some sort. <laughs> that might be that might be her dog. I have to be careful there. But I don't uh, know. It kind of looked like a bumblebee. Maybe it was. I don't know. What do I know? Very nice. What I do know <laughs> is the address where the kids need to send their pictures. So uh, please send them on into 101 McDonald Court in Myrtle Beach or PO Box 100528.